Welcome back to more of this <laughs> thing. More Germany. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Less Germany. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now we only have a score of right. 241. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting... I don't know if I'm getting full points or not, and frankly, I don't care. Well, if you are <laughs> getting full points, we got a ways to go. Shit. Mm, well, unless some things are just worth a lot of points. That could be true. Alright, we're gonna go back and pester some people at the hunting club, because why not? It seems reasonable to me. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I guess we're, uh... I guess we're not bothering people at the country. No, we are bothering people at the, at the, the hunting club. Oh, we're it's not hunting. a country club. Eh. And you have prize? You just uh, hobble on over here. Yes. You look a little wet. Oh. I was uh, visiting a friend nearby and I thought that I should take a shower before the others arrived. I was a bit... Mm, automatic. Yeah. Right. It smelled like a summer Thursday in Prague. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means either. <laughs> Just give me some beer. Thought so, I was here to drink, damn it. Some bartender. Well, this I guy know. ain't getting tipped. How thoughtful. Ooh, he's sitting in the conversing chair. Yes, it's time to go converse in the conversing chairs. Tell me about your childhood. Yeah, Bryce, Tell me about yourself. Apparently, we're just going to interview everybody here. I mean, this is like... <laughs> this is the awful version of Between Two Ferns. <laughs> Baron Von Glau mentioned that you're a lawyer. Yes. And fortunately for me these days, I have enough money to where I only have to take those cases which interest me. I enjoy my leisure time. But Clearly. unfortunately, I have been disbarred. <laughs> What do you do with your, uh, <laughs> leisure time? I said leisure time. I entertain. I like juggling. <laughs> Are you a juggler? A juggling lawyer? Uh, probably a dumb question, Makes for a good commercial. What sort of entertaining do you do? Yeah, that's a do dumb question. Do you like women here night? I've been known to. I had doors, huh? All right, this is not the same character. <laughs> the star, the dance, the bait, the hook. And what do you do once you are you uh, fishing or what? Hooked him. <laughs> oh, you know, you're quite the pleasure yourself. Mount them on the wall. Hmm. Or have I misled you? You're probably just getting a whiff of the past, Air Price. All right, who are you and what have you done with Gabriel Knight? Give me Tim Curry back. <laughs> this man is not sleazy enough for this role. But I've settled down What do you think now. of the club philosophy? The club. It works, does it? <laughs> das Klub. Does it? We're all animals. I deny it. So you don't believe in suppressing anything? Why would I want to suppress my urges? If your body wants something, it must be natural. Well, what if you get the natural urge to uh, rip someone's throat out? I mean, like right now? My instincts run to pleasure. Of the equally sticky but less fatal kind. But what about those whose instincts are Ew. fatal? Uh, shouldn't they suppress? This is an uncomfortable conversation. I believe that nature. Slightly. 
Especially how with that, that look he's giving us. Occur tonight? <laughs> and how does it do that exactly? Lens of a hell, Vin. A member of society does not conform, he is hunted down and executed. End of mutant instinct. And its genetic bloodline. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to this. The director's just staring at me. <laughs> I mean, well, that's been the entire acting direction in this entire game so far. Yeah. Just have a natural conversation. What could go wrong? I like to tear people's throats out for pleasure. Um. Um. <laughs> and print. <laughs> <laughs> I was off book. <laughs> Tell me about the other club members. Way off book. Oh, is that all right? Don't worry about Wanzel. He's a bastard to everyone these days. PMS? <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. Oh, he's always been an arrogant bastard, competitive on the hunts, ambitious. But still, aren't we all? No, uh, he was decent enough at one time. In fact, he was one glorious favorite. And he was an asset as a friend. But things change. Okay. Right. Uh... Don't know where to go with that, but okay. And what about the other club members? Like who? Hanneman, for example. I've heard he's in line for a position extremely high up in the government. Hanneman, he is a drunk. His days as a political superstar are over. My friends at the courthouse tell me that he has been marked for early retirement. Well, oh, more time to, to drink. About, huh? Yeah, sounds good to me. When did Von Zell begin to change? Oh, he's been getting worse for a he long time. Through hair and fangs and started I howling at things. A hunting trip about um, a year ago. That was the last time I remember that we were all together and having a good time. He must have started getting difficult after that. Hmm. Right. Seems like you've pretty much written Von Zell off yourself. Uh, any particular reason? Look, it's one thing when he insults the rest of us. But when he insults the Baron, no. Nah. I heard him arguing once. When Glover told Von Zell he did acted stupidly about something or the other. He's, Von Zell was furious. This man needs what to be he tuned. He I told know. the Baron that he was weak. Bastard. I don't know why. The Baron let him get away with it. I mean, I would have said something at the time, but well, it was a private conversation. Did they like uh -huh. smack uh, his mic around before he when gave was these lines? Oh, I don't know. Five, six weeks ago. Ah, so he's being a jerk fairly recently. <laughs> How was Von Zell an asset as a friend? He is a banker. Are you saying he loaned you money? He's always willing to help out his good friends. Why would anyone in this club need money? I thought y'all were models of success. Yes, well, fortunately, I took less advantage of Fonzel's hospitality than some. I mean, he could always use more money. Come on. Yeah. Just buy more money. Come on. Have you ever heard of uh, the Black Wolf? Yes. It's me. I'm really the Black where? Wolf. Oh, I don't know. Just sounds familiar. Is it some sort of schnapps? Will you tell me if you remember? Uh, can I drink it? Of course. <laughs> I'll only remember if I can drink it. Ah, uh, the reinforcements have arrived. Got I can stop wolf. talking to you now. Get some black wolf ham. <laughs> My brilliant man, good cheer to you both. Where's the beer? Good night, my man. Uh, good evening. 
No oh, shit, it's you again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that asshole here? Man, they're in a real hurry to get over there, eh? Hey, it's beer time. It's beer <laughs> clock, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <Beer>. <laughs> Abend. Abend. Why does this guy keep showing Meine up? Meine kleine Familie. <laughs> How are you all this evening? Hello. Gabriel, I'm glad you could join us. What else am I gonna do? There's free beer. Enjoy your evening. It's the best kind of beer. The Thanks. free kind. I will. Hold on. May I speak to you for a minute? What is it, Bryce? It's a stupid American. He was in a hurry to take that chair. <laughs> now I'm just going to stand here like a dunce. Let's go talk to people. What else are we going to do? That's what we do in adventure games. Harass people. Yes, oh, good evening. Edmund, Von Agner. You care to join us? Sure. Thanks. Give me the booze. Give me all the booze. Where, where are my booze? Where is my booze? I've spoken to several of the club members today, but I haven't had a chance to speak with you yet, Herr Von Agner. How tragic. No one in this club talks better than I do. <laughs> oh, true. Very true. <laughs> Boy. We've Perhaps reached tomorrow? a new level of mugging. <laughs> the mugometer is off the scale. <laughs> it's broken. What else? What am I going to do with this? You Try broke mugging. my mugometer. Try mugging. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to get to know you yet, Herr Hanneman. <laughs> well, I'm already beyond serious conversation tonight, I'm afraid. <laughs> wow, that did not take long. Tomorrow's fine. Pre-gaming. <laughs> pre-gaming? I don't think there's a pre to to his game, it seems. <laughs> I think it's just game the whole time. Yeah, he never stops drinking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you guys heard about the mutilation killing last night? <sighs> Happened right around the corner. Awful. Simply awful. I had meant to get a newspaper, but the time got away from me. Could drive Do somebody to drink. A few. Uh, the victim was a man named Grossberg. He ran a furry business in town. Oh, horrible. You know, this zoo wolf business is inexcusable. The mayor has been spoken to, and quite seriously. Even the prime minister is concerned. Did you know Grossberg, Herr Von Eck? Me? Grossberg? Why, no, no. There's certainly why, not. Why do you ask? I didn't, I didn't I'm certainly not I acting thought, very uh, suspicious right now. You're both in the animal processing business. Munich is a big city, Herr Knight. So it is. Ah, uh, well, I was just curious. You looked really suspicious right there, you know, just pointing <laughs> that out. So what were we all talking about when I came up? Tomorrow's little excursion. Will you be joining us? A monthly hunting trip. A hunting trip? Doesn't involve oh, really? Police. Where? Our lodge is at Eppenberg. It's in the Bavarian National Forest. We leave tomorrow afternoon. Well, gosh. You know, that sounds great, but uh, I need to have my gun cleaned and... Uh... Oh, there are plenty of guns at the lodge. Von Eigner, perhaps the Baron did not mean for Herr Knight to join us quite so soon. Oh, hell, why not? Baron? I don't want to go. A hunting trip tomorrow. Will our new American friend be going with us? Tonight? Well, I don't see why of he could... Of course not. He's not a club member. He's probably not even registered with the license office. Nonsense, Gar. The sooner we get to see his technique, the better. <laughs> we'll just slip him in and he can register properly when we get back. But that's not legal. Since when do you care about legalities? It's only a hunting license? I agree. <laughs> I would enjoy Gabriel's presence very much. There's well, Gabriel. Enough said. The Baron should certainly get whatever he wants, shouldn't he? 
If you can't tell, I'm being Perhaps sarcastic. Would be an interesting exercise at that. Oh God, he's even being more sarcastic. <laughs> I'm not his favorite anymore, so I'm gonna be pissed off at everyone. <laughs> Senpai noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> Baron Senpai to you. <laughs> Baron. <laughs> um, what the, uh, I don't know the word for notice, though. I don't know. <sighs> uh, There'll be time for that later. Yeah, so there's a great joke there, but I, I, I don't know the word for notice, so I can't use that joke, unfortunately. Yes, how night? Gentlemen. What's up, guys? I'm just going to stare at you for a while. Fine. Would you excuse us, please? We are discussing something private. Something pirate? Oh. Discussing pirates? Yes. <laughs> the balloons! <laughs> Just got kicked out of that conversation. Jeez. Yeah, it looks like uh, Merk Mick <laughs> notice me as Merk Merk Mick Merk Mick brother on Senpai. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm just driving that in into the uh, <laughs> into the ground. All right, how do you now? How do you? What's the translation for Ungu? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Can I talk to you guys? Hey. Can I join you in a moment, Gabriel? Price and I are almost finished. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go over here and stare at the wall. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's go bother them again. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm back! Yes, how night? What up? I just want to get a magazine and not just be able to read it. Grab a magazine. Then grab one. Thanks. I like the pictures. Yes. Ich bin sicher, es kann heute. All you guys have to do to have a private conversation is speak in German. <laughs> I'll be completely <laughs> lost. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Well, we clearly want to eavesdrop. I can't read it, it's in German. Well, okay. then fake it. But what we could do is poorly disguise. Mm. That's a thought. Our magazine, and then go put it back. Just wanted to put this magazine back. It wasn't very good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Certainly don't open it. <laughs> Gentlemen, excuse me, please. It's my turn to sit in the chair now. He's in the conversing chair. Yes. I apologize for not getting to you sooner. 
Have you been enjoying yourself? Oh, uh, it's been loads of fun. Good. I'm glad you're going with us tomorrow. I am. We don't get started until the afternoon, so uh, we'll have to worry about staying up late tonight. I have to warn you, uh, my hunting's kind of rusty. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Boss! Missed. I demand to know what you're doing at this club. Me? Baron wants drinking a beer. Really? Are you aware that this guest of yours has been asking intimate questions? Poking around in our personal affairs? He must be a reporter. Or the police. <laughs> what do we have to fear from a reporter? Or the police? Although I can promise you her night is neither. You don't care that he's prying into our private business? What possible motive could he have? Dark. I'm bored. Please. This is my guest. You're the one who is turning that into an inquisition. Then it is on your head! Nobody expects the German inquisition. <laughs> it's because chief it weapon, exist. The chief weapon is <laughs> being extremely that. loud. You defended me. Uh, I'm not exactly helping the harmony around here. Believe me, the harmony was shattered a long time before you came. Once I'll get uh, territorial. Starts marking things, and it's really just right, a pain exactly. in the ass to clean up. Well, I should go anyway. I wanted to clean up for tonight. All right. I can't drink this beer anymore. Oh, but not tonight. Night, night. Night. I should be home soon. He's playing Edward Stein hands. <laughs> I guess I'll just finish this myself. I forgot your magazine. <laughs> this big, bulky, lumpy magazine. What? Whoa! It's trippy vision. Oh no. Someone spread jam all over this cat. Are you gonna breathe so happy? Good lord. Will you shut up? And that's the end of chapter three. Ooh, now we're on to chapter the fourth. Chapter four. Disc five. In the moon! When the moon hits your eye like a big German pie, that's a werewolf. The pff No stock footage of wolves. <laughs> in that string section. She's screwed! <laughs> Apparently this is the prototype version of Frozen. <laughs> I'm sure I saw this on Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> This is a dream, she's gonna turn the corner and be in high school. <laughs> Do 
I have got to stop eating fried cheese before bed. <laughs> Why is the moon watching me? What the hell? Creepy ass moon. And the creepy ass piano is back too. Give it a rest already. Okay. Let's do some poking around. Sleep in again. those khakis. <laughs> just those are pants that won't quit. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable without my high waisted pants. <laughs> the belt keeps my top from falling off. The f what? <laughs> By which I mean my top half. My torso. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, is her shirt like one of those like roller blind things and the belt's <laughs> keeping it down? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure how that works. It's the 90s, anything's possible. Yeah. This 90s is fashion true. Was, a, was a wasteland. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have some leads to follow up. So we sent Gabriel a whole bunch of stuff on Ludwig II, so we're gonna poke around and see if we can't find some more information on Ludwig II. I wish I could read these biographies of Ludwig. Wait a minute. I can! Ludwig II. Because it's in tale, English. King of Bavaria. <laughs> I didn't see this before. Yep, English. Huh. I'll never leave you, book of in, in English. <laughs> Alright, so we have a new book. Let's look at the new book. Turn the page in the new book. There we Ludwig go. Ludwig remained throughout his life both very bright and very naive. He was an introvert who seemed to be constantly out of sync with traditional views of rulership, money, and human relationships. The world ever He's failed to match Yolo his king. ideals. It's... Perhaps this was a fault of his sheltered upbringing as future king. He never was introduced to the real world, and the real world failed to interest him as an adult. In his youth, Ludwig was in fine physical condition High, and loved to hike take. alone in the Alps and ride horses. He had a hunting lodge, Shahen, specifically for this purpose. Unfortunately, in 1872, a rather traumatic hunting accident befell the king at Shahen, and his leg was cruelly damaged. He never fully recovered from this incident, and his hiking and riding ceased. His physical health deteriorated from that time on and explains why he looked so unhealthy in later years. A hunting accident? Sure. Apparently we jump from page 1 to page 81. Other than his long-standing friendship with the Empress Elizabeth of Austria and with his mother, the relationships Ludwig attempted with others were nearly always a disappointment for him and a bewilderment for his partners. He would become obsessed with someone a singer, an artist, a nobleman or a peasant, and would bombard them with gifts, praise, and favors. When they would fail to return the depths of rapturous passion he required, the singular adoration and humble obedience he expected, he would grow disappointed and cut himself off from them. The objects of his interest were occasionally women, usually ones he fell in love with after seeing them in idealized roles on the stage, but they were more often young men who fit his fantasies of the heroic sagas like Lohengrin and Parsifal that he so loved. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> A good example of the king's obsessive behavior in relationships is the following letter from the Königlich Bayerische Archives, which this author was privileged to access. It is dated 1864, and it was written by Ludwig's manservant, Paul, to a friend. The king has been in high mood these days. The reason, of He's course, high, is a new right. interest. Thursday last, the king attended a performance of Lohengrin in the Wittelsbacher Theater. He came back in a fever, demanding that a man be found. The man, it was gathered, had been sitting in a box across from Ludwig and had drawn the king's attention by his beauty and his deep emotional response to the performance. The so king declared that he at last he is a sensitive place. soul. The man was tracked down and brought in for an audience. It's still real Upon to me, my damn it. word, never I have I seen any is. mind so in line with his majesty's own. 
They discussed Wagner and France and Byron and all manner business. of things until long past dawn. The young man, beautiful indeed to look upon, met the king's enthusiasm and knowledge bit for bit. His majesty has been in the thick of it ever since, and while I welcome his good temper, I grow tired of fetching letters back and forth to Louis, so called by his majesty, that should tell you who the young man looks like, at all hours of the night. This author has not been able to learn much about Louis, but he was known to have been a seemingly high-bred foreigner, and he was involved with Ludwig as late as 1880, when he fell into disfavor. Hmm. More reading. The king, especially later in life, felt a great deal of guilt about his sensual nature. His diaries are full of repentant entries begging God for forgiveness and swearing to remain pure. Lord, forgive me, I was horny on vain. He swears to abstain from <laughs> sexual relations. The number of these oath entries indicate that Ludwig was not very successful in resisting temptation, yet it is also clear that Ludwig was a God-fearing man and that, though his flesh might occasionally fall, he never surrendered his heart and his conscience to sin. Chapter 6. For all that counted for. Well, it looks like that is the end of, the, of what we can read. Yeah, it looks like we are not going to get to get into chapter 6. It looks that way. Alright. Well, we know more about Ludwig II now. Looks like I have some other thing. High dramatic piano again. Some other things to take care of. And Gerd is not I here. What Gerd is up to? Sneaking around with some other guy. I'm gonna go yell at her again. <laughs> how dare you be unfaithful to Gabriel? And also, how <laughs> dare you be faithful to Gabriel? Look, I just have a problem with this whole situation and you. <laughs> All right, well, we got a couple things to do in town. We know we have a new letter, so we can go get that. Dramatic coat putting on action. <laughs> so let's head into town. We got that to do. We also got to find our... Uh, 90s sitcom American Friends. As they are staying in town somewhere, so we will need to go and find them. Oh, joy. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Ring that bell. Guten Tag. Grüß Gott, Frau Nakimura. Ich habe etwas für Sie. We've been trying to oh, reach you back Gabriel. at Cars Extended Warranty. Yeah, this is from Schattenjäger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think you... Uh, Gabriel yeah, yeah. is a working partner in... You and, you and the Schattenjäger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Danke. Bitte. I'd like to Schattenjäger if you catch my, my drift. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I have anything to mail right Danke. now, so we're gonna... Bitte. Go ahead and bail. And let's see what Grace's reaction to the letter is. Gracie, you decided to come over. That's great. Good and tag and all that. I'm sure you and Gertie are hitting it off. But thanks for finding the werewolf book. I'm not sure what it all means, but it might be useful. About Ludwig II, you know, I think you might have something there. Ubergrau says there are two places you should check out. Ludwig had a castle called New Swan something, and there's a museum about him at here in chemistry. Something like that. I really think you should spend some time looking into it. Here in chemistry. Don't worry. Things are going very smoothly this time around. I've tracked a suspect to a hunt club run by a man named Von Glauer. He seems okay, but I'm sure there's something going on with at least one of the others. Don't worry, though. I met a police detective named Lieber, so I have backup. I'll be finished soon. Sit tight and enjoy your visit till I get there. Gabriel. What does he think? I'm on vacation here? 
and no address. Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. He's trying to give you a hint. Right, are they over here? Or is this just back in the bar? Oh, nope, here they are. Yeehaw. We can bother them. We can't bother wherever that guy went. Yeah, I can't bother the man who's Hello not here. Hello there, dear. Yeah. Hi, I'm Grace Nakamura from the castle. Am I interrupting? Heavens, no. Have a seat, Miss Nakamura. Oh, I might. <laughs> For a moment. Isn't this nice? We just finished our breakfast. Do you want something? No, thanks. Good for you. I can never turn down food myself. <laughs> now you just tell us all about it, sugar pie. What is it? It's it. No. What is I it? Say, I'm, not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not referring to a Faith No More song. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page on that one. You want it all, but you can't have it. All right, that's enough of that. You no, mentioned you the please. other night that you were a demonologist. What is that exactly? Well, it's not as bad as it sounds, honey. What Emma and I really do is to help protect people. Protect them from what? Well, well do you believe in the devil, Miss Nakamura? I believe in good and evil, if that helps. Oh, but Satan and his demons are real, and they will attack the living. And most folks don't know what to do once they've been attacked. We try to help protect people. <laughs> How can you protect like people from pitch. demons? The best protection is faith in God, of course. But sometimes faith isn't enough. Sometimes we have to delve into the supernatural in order to protect others. Your shot and joggers are just the same. We are? I mean, he is? Of course! The warriors of light are rare these days, but they do exist all around the globe. That's interesting. I just read about a group called Manos del Sol in Brazil. So the Ritters aren't the only Schattenjägers. Well, they're probably the only ones to use that title. But others have been chosen for the battle. Hmm. How very interesting. Uh, is this the part where you try to sell me Amway? <laughs> Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? Sure, we saw his castles, didn't we, Mother? We sure did. Why do you ask? Well, I found a letter in the Schottenegger Library Is that warning Ludwig Mike about Pence? the Black Wolf. Who wrote Calling the letter? Him mother. Her mother? One of Gabriel's ancestors. A Schottenegger. Hmm. Seems like whoever was using me as a megaphone helped you find that letter. Perhaps you should follow the path something's pointing at. Look into Ludwig. I intend to. Not because you told me to. I, just, I was going to do it on my own. <laughs> the other oh, night you said something thought. about the Black Wolf. What did you mean? Where did you hear that name? I wasn't the one talking. I don't understand. Well, that's quite all right. The point is, it would be a very good idea to answer those questions, and we must work together to do so. Of course I'll help you, Pumpkin. I'd like to know myself, wouldn't I? It isn't every day one's taken over by a disembodied spirit, and I don't much care for it, thank you. You're not talking about a seance, are you? Oh, heavens no. Thank God. Himmel's right! I'm much better at tarot cards. I can read for you, or for someone else if you prefer. Besides, this is just a bog-standard possession, not a seance, you fool. <laughs> are you sure you don't know anything about you the black You bust wolf? out the crystal balls here. I never did, dear. I told you. Really, you mustn't confuse the vessel with the voice. All I remember was seeing a very bright flash like lightning. Next thing I knew, Emma had me outside. Whatever it was, it was very powerful. Very powerful. Right. I guess we'll go. get on with this. Well, I guess yeah. it wouldn't hurt to do my tarot reading. Don't you worry now. I know what I'm doing. Oh, wait a minute. These I'm are my credit cards. What my card is. <laughs> Push your vital energies into the cards. You have selected Amex. <laughs> this is your soul card. That which applies to all of your lifetimes. And this is my trap card, which you had just activated. Oh, that's a good one. What's it mean? 
It means that your soul's journey is one of leadership. There's great strength here and intelligence. This card represents what you're like in this lifetime. It's also death. <laughs> it's the chariot. Self-discipline. Control. You need to feel you have a plan that you're testing your abilities. The chariot's very masculine. In combination with the Empress, it tells me that you're currently exploring your male side. You will seek out great achievement, but it does Not have its price. That. Doesn't sound anything like me. Yes, dear. The third card represents the other. It was also death. You've pulled the magician? Who is he, dear? Excuse me? Your other, the magician. Oh, this is a very powerful card. Major Arcana. My other? Everyone has an other. Let's see. You're plus one. I bet it's the Schottenjager. <laughs> What's his name? The Schottenjager? Gabriel Knight. A name of power. He is powerful, this one. The magician is dexterous and cunning, mischievous and manipulate. That's Gabriel, all right. And very strong with magical and occult powers. Also, now, terrible actor. this is actor. interesting because your card, the <laughs> chariot, is all logic and reasoning, while his, the magician, is spiritual and intuitive. <laughs> you two are quite a pair. <laughs> the fourth card it's shows also what you're death. trying to achieve at this moment. Your immediate destiny. It's the strength or lust card. Lust? Not that kind of lust, dear. It's a trial okay. card. Finding the strength to continue some difficult journey. It also represents the integration of conflicting energies. That must be your chariot and his magician energies. Mm. Strength also means bonding those energies, loving without judgment, learning to love the beast. Uh huh. I don't know what that means because I judge everybody. What is this trial, dear? Do you know? Um. Uh, well, Gabriel and I are involved with a case right now. It will be a hard time. You must let your love give you power. Use the positive energy of your union or you may not succeed. I think you have the wrong idea. Gabriel and I just work together. Yes, dear. Yeah, sure you do. But if I might just suggest, <laughs> when you're facing negative forces, the positive energy of well, love is a Well, I'm talking about combining your energies. Weapon. I'm not talking about, like, You make yourself vulnerable Dragon when Ball you Z resist here. your yes. own tools. Well, that's been helpful. I hope so, dear. Oh, goody, we get more. <laughs> Maybe we should do a reading for Gabriel. Oh, let's! It's a little like spying on someone unawares, but what the heck? Right. Aren't you going to shuffle those things? Reach out to the cards. Funny, I got the same and cards think again. about his essence. <laughs> this is just the order the deck came in. His soul card? Is death. Is the magician. Yes, dear! It reflects your other exact like. Well, maybe, but I'd rather hold out for David Copperfield. And his lifetime card... Is death. Oh, goodness. The lovers. You mean the sole purpose of his life is in his pants? Doesn't surprise me. It's not what you think, dear. It's a duality card. As a lifetime card, it refers to Gabriel's own duality. Good versus evil, physical pleasure versus spiritual growth, that kind of thing. His challenge is to integrate the conflicting parts of himself. Until he does, he'll never find peace. So he'll never find peace, gotcha. And nope. you will find peace when you acknowledge all of him. Find a way to love the worst as you already love the best. You're really reaching. Mother. His other. Is that? Is the high priestess. Let me guess. That's me, right? No, dear, it's not. The high priestess represents psychic mysteries, deep wisdom. This is a very different energy from your earthy one. This must be our connection. It's that damn girl. He's hooked on his job. Do the void! 
face, dear. Someone is trying to communicate with Gabriel. This force is represented by the high priestess. That's not much help. What about the black wolf? But it is a help, dear. The high priestess is a spiritual guide card if ever there was one. The message must have been a warning. If this force is connected to Gabriel, and if he's so very psychic, then why doesn't it just go to him? Why say it to me? Maybe Gabriel's blocked. Maybe he's purposefully blocking. There is that duality business. Let's go on and see if he's it becomes blocked, clear. Eh? The fourth card, remember, represents the current situation. Is it's that? death. Ah! Finally, oh. I was right. <laughs> Nothing to worry about then. Now you just leave interpretation up to me, sugar pie. It means he's gonna it's die. It's a transformation card. <laughs> Dying to one thing and being born to another. It is painful, but it isn't necessarily bad. Two of wands. Hey, why does that, he get that's, more cards that's than bad. I That one's bad. What? A two is not good here. Wands is Mars in Aries. That's a war card in conjunction with the death card. There are two possible transformations. Two transformations? Yes, dear. Gabriel is waging a spiritual battle. The transformation might be good or it evil. Could be evil. He's that gonna must get bit be the by purpose werewolf. of the high priestess. She's trying to guide him. So you think he really might be in danger? Oh yes, dear. Gabriel's very essence is at stake. If he takes the wrong path with his powers, Emil and I will stay in town. You must let me know if anything else happens that we can read for clues. Let the Force use you. That's the wrong series for that. Gonna get sued. <laughs> I'd better go. Anytime you need us, stop by. And be careful, huh? Thanks. Where the hell did the jazz combo come from? <laughs> and where'd they go? <laughs> as quickly as they came here, they're gone. Can I talk to you? You're at least a little more normal. I'm still polishing this bar. Can I hold that? Yes. Always polishing. I was wondering mm -hmm. if you've changed your mind about telling me where Gabriel is. It's really important. No. Sorry. Womp womp. Well, that was straightforward. <laughs> Thanks. Bitter. I'm saying you're being bitter. That wasn't a you're welcome. The f Let's take a peek around town. I don't want to disturb her. Yes, you do. Oh, well, look who it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gid is here. I wonder what she's up to. She's mourning a heartless old man. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have phrased it that way. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Wolfgang. I feel bad for that whole blow up thing. <laughs> but I'll get over it. Not really bad. Um, yeah, just a little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should try to maybe not be jerks. Go and not have have uh it pissed off at us anymore. So if you'll recall, you can make a little peace offering with uh, the roses that we found in that passage earlier. Hmm. 
assuming that this is still open and I don't have to fiddle with uh, the thing again. Nope. I'm going to Nardia, bye! That explains why it's so drafty in here. <laughs> Seemed unnecessarily long. They're beautiful, but they won't last long in my coat. It's... You're not wearing your coat. That's true, yeah. I just thought about that. Creepy sounds up the stairs. It's coming. Don't worry. It's there. Almost Mr. Q. I guess we shouldn't be a jerk after all. At least not in this room. They missed their cue to start the scene? <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with these. Sorry, I was an idiot. No God, God. she's acting Phil again. And I, we, we never. I know. It's my fault. It's Gabriel's fault. He never tells me anything. God, she's acting again. Look at. I don't know why he didn't want his case. <laughs> um, maybe he just. Don't even try to make excuses for him. She's going critical. Still. Weren't you just trying to be nice? Now you're gonna be a bitch in, again. Think. Will you help me out with something? Of course. I got this itch between my shoulder blades. I <laughs> have to do some research on Ludwig. I want to go see some of his castles. Take Gabriel's car. Yeah, There's a the map dump. of southern Bavaria in the car. Ludwig's castles are all marked. Thanks. Almost like I knew you'd need that or something.
let's get, get out of here. Let's blow this pop stand. At least I have the car. Yes, I know. I have to use the keys on the car. And it stalls. Oh god, it's a manual! I can't drive this! Alright, we've got some places to go! Oh boy. Looks like we'll just swing our way through right to left here. Don't squeal the tires. I can't see the displays until I've gotten past the counter. What? This seems to be before the counter. I can't see the displays until I've gotten past the counter. But... Alright, fine. They're, they're right next to you. I know. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Well, what do I say next? Is das the Ludwig Museum? Ja, ja. Ludwig der Zweite von Bayern. Okay. Like ich hätte gern eine Eintrittskarte fürs Museum. Ja, 8 Mark für eine Ganztagskarte. What? Eight marks for something, I'm assuming entry or ticket or something. I thought this was one of those Danke. optional Good donation day. museums. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now can I look at these? Stuff. July 3rd, 1864. For reading. Elizabeth, you can have no idea, dear cousin, how happy you made me. The hours recently passed with you in the railway carriage I consider among the happiest in my life. Never will their memory fade. You gave me permission to visit you at Ischel. If the time comes for this ardent hope to be fulfilled, I shall be of all men upon earth oh the most blessed. That's your cousin, yeah, you weird out. Of sincere love <laughs> and reverence and faithful attachment to you, which I cherished in my heart even as a boy, makes me imagine heaven upon earth and will be extinguished by death alone. I beg you with all my heart to forgive the contents of this letter, but I could not help myself. Ludwig. Jeez. Elizabeth frequently gave Ludwig advice on royal conduct, hoping to protect him from unfavorable public opinion. March 1st, 1865. My dearest Eagle, you have not written me in a few months. I have missed you. I often try to imagine what you are doing. I hear tales that you have been on retreat and have not been seen in Munich for some time. I suspect it is this new friend you wrote up so mysteriously that takes you away from home. I hope you are enjoying yourself, my beloved, but I beg you to caution. The people need to see you at the throne. I also hesitate to suggest that what your officials do in your absence may not always be in your own best interest. You have always been a true king, but you must let the people see you to ensure that they don't forget that. E. Your dove. I'm chocolate. Ludwig's friends were concerned for his mental state long before his arrest. June 14th, 1878. My right beloved up. Eagle, <laughs> in your last letter you spoke so movingly of your torment that I was moved to tears. What is this torment? Why won't you confess to me what is truly troubling you? You must know that I would never despise you, no matter how horrible you believe your sins to be. Please do not write such barbs to my heart by even suggesting such things. If you do not wish to confess to me, 
At least tell me how I can aid you. I am always your true one, your dove. And the last one. In this letter, dated November 1886, Elizabeth of Austria thanks Bishop Frank for his assistance in helping her fulfill Ludwig's last wishes. She writes that she knows it was an unusual request, but she believes Ludwig had reasons of his own for wishing it to be done. She hopes that a spirit finds peace at last. No further reference to this letter has ever been found. One can only speculate what the last wishes of a cornered and embattled Ludwig might have been. Hmm. Perhaps we will never what know. What were his last wishes? This place is giving me more questions than answers. Damn museums. They certainly make an incredible looking couple. They certainly make. They certainly. They yes, certainly. Wait, the time. man and the horse are an incredible looking couple? Oh, yes, incredible couple right there. It's Mike Pence! <laughs> uh, nothing else to look at there. Picture! She's beautiful. Thing. One of Ludwig's More close reading. friends was Empress Elizabeth of Austria. She was a distant cousin of the boy Prince, and he saw her often growing up. Graceful and beautiful, Elizabeth seemed to represent the feminine ideal to the younger Ludwig. Their friendship continued after her marriage, mainly by correspondence. She remained a source of stability for Ludwig throughout his life. In keeping with Ludwig's love of romance and drama, he called her the Dove, and he to her was the Eagle. Man, they're just getting weird now. Ludwig is Prince Charming. He played the part well. Prince Afro. <laughs> no, go that way. There we go. The Last Days. June 7th, 1886. A group of men arrive at Neuschwanstein Castle, demanding to take the king in custody. With them is Dr. Gudin, the doctor who had been in charge of Otto, the king's mentally ill brother. The men have an order for the king's arrest on the grounds of insanity. They are refused admittance by a brave group of farmers and local soldiers who have come to Ludwig's aid. They are forced to retreat to nearby Hohenschwangau. This is the first Ludwig hears of the conspiracy. Ludwig composes a pamphlet explaining the subversive acts of the conspirators and eloquently pleading with his people for aid. The pamphlet is smuggled out of Neuschwanstein and printed, but the pamphlets are seized before they can be distributed. June 7th. Ludwig. I don't know. I can look at the picture maybe, but I guess not. June 12th, 1886. Ludwig knows the conspirators will return. He despairs. He asks his servant for the keys to the tower. The servant, fearing the king intends suicide, says the key is lost. Unbeknownst to Ludwig, the conspirators arrive at the castle. This time, there is no one to stop them. Ludwig is lured from his bedroom to the entry hall of Neuschwanstein on pretense. There, he is taken into custody. Ludwig is taken by carriage from Neuschwanstein to Berg, where his brother Otto had long been imprisoned. This is a great blow to the king's state of mind. While on the way, the group stops at Sieshaup to change horses. Ludwig asks to see the postmistress, Frau Vogel. She brings him a glass of water and he says something to her. She never reveals these last words to anyone. June 12th, unbeen. Ludwig is taken. No, I already know. I thought I could look at the picture again. Okay. I guess I can't look at the you picture. You should have learned. <laughs> June 13th, 1886. At Berg. Ludwig seems cooperative and coherent. Dr. Gudin writes to the government that he has Ludwig well under control. The two men go out for a walk, and Dr. Gudin is so confident he dismisses the guards. When Ludwig and the doctor do not return after several hours, a search is undertaken. The bodies of the two men are found in the lake, drowned. Circumstances unknown. Well, that's lovely. June 18th, 1886. Ludwig's funeral procession marches through the streets of Munich, followed by enormous crowds of mourners. The service is held at a packed St. Michael's church. 
Lightning strikes the church during the service, but no one is harmed. Ludwig's body is entombed in the Wittelsbach crypt at St. Michael's. His heart is placed in an urn in the pilgrimage chapel at Altadin in the Wittelsbach tradition. The urn is shown to the right. His heart is in an urn. How bizarre. He was just really into Egyptian stuff. Don't ask about the rest of it. I have no idea what that says. Oof. Looks old, though. That's handy. I have no... Alright, nothing new there. It's Santa again! It's the thing! Oh my god. That's the sleigh for my dream! Maybe Mrs. Smith will know what my dream meant. I have to ask someone. Oh, this no. thing is getting too weird. <laughs> The Midnight Sleigh Rides. Ludwig went on long sleigh rides in the middle of the night, particularly in his later years. It is said that he suffered from insomnia, headaches, and toothaches, and the rides soothed his restlessness. The sight of the king's grand sleigh speeding through the countryside of the Alps often startled the peasants and became a superstitious omen of ill fortune. I can see why, but what was he doing out there at night? You know, just being a baller. As you do. Ludwig's death mask. Wow. Is the only thing there? I guess so. Um, that all that. Um, have I covered everything? No. I looked at that. Look no, I haven't looked at this. Ludwig and Wagner. Ludwig loved the opera of his contemporary Richard Wagner. Ricard. He helped support Wagner's music for much of his life. Ludwig considered Wagner a close friend, often calling him the great friend. Wagner encouraged this infatuation, some believe, for personal gain. Typical artist. Jeez. Hello. It's a lot of medals. and sash pins from the Order of the Knights of St. George. These were worn on Ludwig's uniform, as befitted his rank of Grand Master. They are now the property of the Bavarian Crown Treasury. Please don't tell them that we have them. <laughs> I wonder if these pins have any symbolic meaning. I wonder if these... I wonder if these... I wonder if... Okay. Same thing everywhere. He looks so regal. Why would he give up all of this pageantry and become a recluse? Because he was crazy! Ludwig is Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. The Knights of St. George was an aristocratic society dedicated to the acts of chivalry. Ludwig loved the medieval pageantry of the order in his early years, before his increasing reclusiveness drove him to abandon public appearances. Look, I can't stand people either, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's bad to be the case. Looks like it weighs a ton. Oops. Ludwig's Grand Master Wardrobe from the Knights of St. George. No, you can only look at the plot. Ludwig's Diary. Ludwig kept a diary from 1869 when he was 24 years old until his death. The diary provides a fascinating look into the mind of this tormented man. The original diary is kept in the Royal Archives. A few entries are shown on the opposite wall. I've got to see that diary. Richard Wagner. Just, just take it. Smash and grab. Oh, these are the oh, these are the entries. Oh. Even after Smash Wagner's grab. death, Ludwig still showed <laughs> signs of obsession with the composer. This letter, written in 1882 by Ludwig to the conductor of the Munich Opera, instructs the conductor to make preparations for a new Wagner opera. The conductor went to see the king as instructed. When he arrived, Ludwig was ill and refused to see him. Nothing further was ever heard of this mysterious new opera. 
Was it a figment of an ill man's desperate wishes? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> this guy crazy, yo. Ludwig is offered a crown of laurels by the genius of immortal fame. Twenty sixth July, eighteen seventy four. By the power of the lily, we shall have the strength to resist all temptations throughout the whole year. Twenty sixth July, eighteen seventy five. Solemn oath before the picture of the great king. Refrain for three months from all excitement. This oath has its binding power as well as its potency by De Par Le Roy. Ellen R. D. P. L. R. What excitement! I need to see more of that diary. What excitement we have here! Just no, that's not over here. Just, just take it. Just take it. <laughs> you paid your mission fee. Mission covers the cost of a little looting, right? <laughs> It's only a copy. You guys can make another. Yes, do you have these in the gift shop? Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Duh. Duh, dumb. Ludwig's Tagebuch. In museum? Yeah. Wo kann ich Ludwig's Tagebuch here on Showan? Die Tagebücher sind ganz persönlich. Die sind in den königlichen Archiven. Niemand darf die lesen. Aber nein, niemand darf die lesen. Damn, she's mad. Danke. How dare you ask to see things in a museum? Get out of my sight. <laughs> Guten Tag. Guten Tag. We'll just forget that first conversation happened. In museum, es einen. Brief von Ludwig über eine neue Wagneroper. Ja, ja. Ich kenne diesen Brief. Wo kann ich uh, mehr von dieser Wagneroper sehen? Ja, ich weiß nichts über Wagner. Das hier ist kein Wagner Museum. Ja, ich weiß. In Bayreuth befindet sich ein Wagner Museum. Versuchen Sie es halt doch, ne? Bayreuth. Danke. Yay, we learned something. Finally, she was useful. I think I looked at everything, but then also this is probably a good place to stop for right now because we got a lot of reading and a lot of stuff to learn over oh the next uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be learning a lot of stuff about Wagner and King Ludwig II and, and all kinds of fun stuff oh boy, more museums yep a gay real night so, adventure <laughs> Yes. I belong in a museum. Uh, say a night at the museum. Uh, yeah. it's... Except it's it's not him. Yes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's anyway. Uh join us then, won't you? Farewell. And the dramatic music to take us out. <laughs>